Hello, my little darlings. It's the man mechanic here. Um, first of all, apologies for late videos. Um, I've been working a lot lately, and this is around a bit of first free time I've had for quite a while. Now, this is the the motive of this story. Right, have you had problems with Chinese crank camshafts in BMW 71s, um, M72s, Dnieper's, K750s, and Urials, and the likes, right? Now, what's actually the problem is, if you, it's a bit of messing out, I, Suck my fingers now. If you time it up with the timing marks, right? Now forget this time mark at the moment, but say that's a time mark there, and that's a proper time mark there, right? What you'll find is the actual the the Woodruff key inside here is too advanced. It's been cut wrong. Now, is it because they don't the Chinese don't have to pay for the patent from the Russian camshafts or German camshafts, or is it they've just cocked up and made a batch of wrong um, camshafts with the Woodruff key in the wrong place? I don't think you can just see there, but the Woodruff key is in there, right? Now, when you set these up, the Woodruff key here should be just very, very slightly level, right? Should be 90 degrees. This should be 90 degrees. So if you time the timing mark up, which is that one just there on the on the um, crankshaft, you'll find that I always look at that bit there. As long as that's level with that nut there, right? That's 90 degrees, right? So you look at 90 degrees. Now, this mark here should be here. But if you put this mark or the timing mark on the original cogs, you'll find it's too advanced, which means that there's no way of retarding the ignition. So it will always try and start backfiring, kicking back and not running for it. So it's always running too advanced. Okay, and I'll tell you what I mean by that in a second. Because what you want to do is when you first start these up, you want the timing about four to five before top dead center. What's happening, if you set these timing marks to the right place, you'll find it's about 30, 35 degrees top dead center, which is full advanced. So when you do push the advanced full open, it quits the engine because it's advancing it too much. So all I had to do, and it's the best way, and I'll show you how to work this out, is to retard this, this this gearing by one cog, okay? You can see there, there's the original time mark. There's the new time in there. So it's retarded by one cog, right? The engine itself goes that way, like that. So it goes that way. So we're looking at it, so it's anti-clockwise. Right, it's clockwise for the crankshaft, anti-clockwise for the wash line. So if you go back clockwise, by one cog, as you can see just there, you'll find that will be timed perfectly. Now, how do you find this out? Now, the best way to find this out is to get both of the push rods on top dead center. So that's top dead center that, this is a new crankshaft in here, by the way, because that one's snapped. Right, so this is at top dead center. Now, what I mean by top dead center is that the maximum throw it can go up before it starts going back down again. So these two push rods are on the compression stroke, so you shouldn't have any valves open. Now, come to the other side. All right? If you had it on its proper timing mark, if I can find the proper timing mark, that's it. If you find it on your time marks, you find that one of these valves is sticking out. You see that? That one there's level, and that one there is sticking out. So in theory, the inlet valve is starting to open on the compression valve. Now these should be rocking, which means they should be dead level. So if I retime this again, so it's in its proper timing mark. All right, there you go. So that's its proper timing mark now. 
So both these are virtually level. Do you see on the top there? That one there's level, that one there's level. And they should be just rocky. So if you go slightly with the camshaft, either that one will open, and that one not at the moment. If you go the other way, that will start to open, the inlet will start to open, and the exhaust will say the same. So the camshaft is on the back of its of its lobes, okay? And it's just thinking about opening up. So they should be starting to do that if it turns around anymore, okay? Now, because one of them was slightly open, which means, to me, the camshaft is in the wrong place, or the Woodruff key is in the wrong place, and that's on a Chinese, that's on a Chinese one, okay? So I so say they're both level now. Let me put that where it should be. There you go, and as you can see, both the bits at the bottom there, that bit there, and that bit there, are both level. Now, before, it took me about two years to work this out, because I had a, a Russian camshaft, and for some other reason, I had a new set of gears in it, and they all sheared. They were virtually brand new, so it ruined the, 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 the camshaft. So I bought, instead of paying 100 or 130, 20 quid or something, whatever, for a Russian camshaft, 45 pound, bought a Chinese one. I know you pay for what you get, but if it cocked up again, it wasn't gonna cost me a great deal of money to repair it and you're also going to find out why it cocked up in the first place so that is been the problem so i took the camshaft out rotated it starts up first flip the timing is spot on you can time it idle it's about three to four degrees before top dead center you take the cinder head off to do the full advanced on the on the advanced um, and you've got about 36 degrees before top of the centre on full advance. So there you go. Hope that helps you out. Any problems, just give us a shout. I know it looks a bit messy at the moment, but I'll try to get these timing marks all, try to get them all sorted out. But that is, was the problem. So, recap. Chinese copy of the BMW or M72 camshaft, right? The Woodruff key is a couple of degrees out which is enough to make it full of which make to, enough to make it full of vans. okay so if you retard that camshaft wheel by one teeth one tooth it's it's perfectly advanced it's perfectly timed so at low low full of full retarded full retarded full retarded no eh? who's retarded full retard on the the lever and the anna bar you should get four to five degrees well, it doesn't really matter, really, because it doesn't really matter where it is, really, to be honest with you. But as long as it's quite low, you'll start it first flick. And then at a full advance, when you open it right up or push it right forward, you should get 34 to 36 degrees top dead, top dead center. Okay, so that's full advanced at, at high revs. There you go. Hope this helps. Like I say, Russian camshafts, no problems at all. It's only the Chinese ones I've found. And I bought a couple of these now, and they're all exactly the same. And if you put them up towards a, a Russian one, and I haven't got one here at the moment, so I've thrown it away a few a couple of years ago. But you can see that the, that the that the actual gear or the Woodruff key is slightly out, a couple of degrees out, which would be enough to make it full of full advance if you put it on the right timing marks on Russian gears. All right, hope that helps. Thanks very much for watching, and see you later on.